In this video, let us learn how to draw Olympic rings using the Python Turtle program. So here there are five rings. So one is blue, black, red, yellow, green. First three are in the first line and the two are in the next line. Let us learn how to make this program. Right. So here you can see that we started Python. So then we open a new file. Then, so here you can see import turtle, then t turtle turtle, an instance of the turtle. T dot pen size we make 10 so therefore we want to write a little bit darker and then C set this is a color set there are five colors here blue black red yellow green right now our set is ready next one so we want to draw a circle so anyhow we already know in order to draw the circle that is T circle so radius okay let's say 200 is a radius and you want to change the pen color so therefore t dot pen color that is c set okay first i'll take zero later we can see that how to make the loop and then read that one so save this and then run okay so this is quite big you can make it small 100 Right, so our first circle is ready. So now the point is 0, 0. So we need to take to the right and then we need to draw one more. So what is the distance here? So year to year is 100. Again, year to year is 100. Okay, a little bit gap is required. Therefore, what you have to do is you have to say, okay, the line we don't want, right? The pen up. So you can use pen up. Then you have to say T go to. Now that is 0, this is 100, this is 100, 200. So this is my gap is 5, so therefore 205. So x is 0, so let it be 0. Then t dot pen down, r down. So that is done. Now again you can draw a circle here. See what will happen. So then you have to change the color. So t dot pen set first let us try this later we can make a loop and then in a loop we can call this see first is okay okay i was not writing so there is an error here p so p dot pen down this is a t dot pen down so done and done okay so you require a little bit more gap so therefore what you can do is you can say 210 Fine. So you want a little bit more gap, so then you can make 215, fine. Then what you have to do is you need to copy this same. So now this is 315 or this is 30, double of this, 330. And here is 2. So you need to double this. So this is 430. Done. The first line is over. Now you need to try the second line. So therefore you can say t dot pen up. So now Excel. So okay, let, let us run it again. So before this. First, you need to figure out where to bring the cursor. Fine. Now you can see that this is the center point. So here to here is 100. So we need to go down again 100 here. So not 100, little bit up because it shouldn't touch, but it should go inside. This is 100, maybe 140. Then you have to come forward 100. So your cursor is here. So we need to bring to this location. This is zero. So now it becomes negative. X is negative. Here it is a negative. Sorry. X is positive only. Okay. This side is X. Okay. This side if you go, then it is negative. 
so therefore now we can check it out okay so fine here so now the fourth one you have to go for 100 and then y minus 115 because you should go to the negative side the next one is this is 100 that naturally you need to increment with a 210 so here we can increment 215 so therefore here also you can increment with the 215 this is 430 okay then y it is in the same location so c is at 3 and this is 4 so now we will run this fine so now you are perfectly at the point so it's done but now what you have to do is we need to make a loop so we don't want to write so many lines of code so instead of that we want to make the loop so how do we do this so now to make a loop so you require phi for n in range so this is phi colon I will take out this circle will draw at the end fine so remaining this code is not required so therefore let me remark this comment out the region okay so done <coughs> so this value is very important so beginning let's say x1 is equal to 0 and uh, even y is equal to 0 so you can say x only x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 therefore this is x and this is y so first circle is done now second one so we want to increment by 215 so therefore you can see okay so 5 second line you should go to second 3 and 4 0 1 2 3 4 okay so therefore we'll use the if condition if n less than 3 x is equal to x into 2 1 5 x into 2 1 5 Fine. So now let's check it out what will happen to this. So when you write first time, it take little time, so don't need to worry. So just check it out. So y is not incremented. colon so y is equal to okay. so here is a mistake actually so here x is equal to x is not x actually this is n into 215 so, okay so a small mistake so here we print n so we'll check it out the values here so now let's save this and then execute okay so second circle and next one okay so now it's writing here only fine so what you have to do is else you have to write else so this is the else part so here else will not work because 3 and 4 is two different values therefore can say l if n is equal to 3 if is equal to c now x is equal to 100 and y value has to change so therefore you can check the y value so this is a 115 so therefore y is equal to minus 115 So when it is equal to 4, so you have to add 215 to this, so this becomes 315. Ok, 
okay rest of the code it's okay so this is a pen up print and is not required so we can just take it out so here is a color right now we'll run this done so with the loop we can always generate the rings so this is a loop uh, we can also check whether you can solve this problem n is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 so if it's greater than 3 yeah first time it should be 100 anyhow one more if condition is required anyway please check it out so please practice this and then see that it's working fine and you'll get the idea and we'll keep uh, we'll bring you more videos like how to do the different different drawings so keep watch our channel also please subscribe and share our video to your friends thank you very much